Welcome to the Brompton Training video series. We are doing these videos to help you develop your knowledge of the software and maybe learn some tips and tricks you didn't know about. In the first video, we are going to have a brief look at the requirements of using the processor and how it works with your LED panels. We will then show you how to add a few panels to the canvas and how that's done from the Tessera interface. Each processor has different capabilities but ultimately all run the Tessera software. For these videos I am using an SX40 with an XD distribution unit. All panels that are connected to the processor must be fitted with an R2 receiver card and the capacity of each port can be found in the port calculator which is in the description for this video. The number of pixels each port can run will change depending on this. The 1 gigabit ports support Cat5 E cables up to 100 meters, and the 10 gigabit ports on the SX40 processor support either single mode optical fiber cables up to 2 kilometers, but these connect to your XD that has the 1 gigabit ports. The best way of remembering this is 10 gigabit is for distributors and 1 gigabit is for panels. You can use up to 500 R2 cards per 1 gigabit port and 50 R2 cards per string of LED panels. However, it is possible to have an unmanaged gigabit Ethernet switch connecting to each port to increase this limit. To access your processor's interface, you will need to connect a mouse and keyboard as well as a DisplayPort enabled monitor. When you have done this, press the power button and wait for the software to load. You will be presented with the following screen. The first thing to do when setting up your processor and screen is to define the canvas. Select the canvas size. This is usually your video input resolution. For now, make sure you are not using any of the port redundancy options. We will come to that later. When finished, press the create button. You are now presented with a blank canvas where we can start placing our connected panels. Before we start dragging our LED panels onto our canvas, we want to check whether there are any problems between the processor and the panels. Press the online button to check whether the processor is detecting the panels. Problems can arise from panels having incorrect firmware or a different calibration loaded or simply a connection error to the port. From here, you can select a panel with a problem and press the beacon button to identify where it is in your LED wall. We will look at more features in the online section in a later video, so click back to the canvas view. There are two ways to add panels to the canvas. If your panels are not yet connected, but you know that where they will be placed, you can press the Add Fixtures from Library button and then later connect them. We, however, are going to use the second way where we will add our panels from the network. Click the Add from Network button located next to it. Once you have clicked Add, you will notice that your panels will change colour representing each string of panels connected, just like the screenshot. A number will be displayed on the first panel in that string. Press the number of the string you want to add from your canvas on the keyboard. It will then change to a gradient view of that colour. This represents the order in which the string of panels has been cabled. Now place your panels onto the canvas. If you hold down the mouse and drag it, it will do multiple panels at the same time. Once you have done this, press the enter key to confirm and then escape to go back to the canvas. We have now successfully placed some panels on our canvas. In the next video, we will look at the pipeline above and how video is processed going through the processor. Thanks for watching.